Well, hello there, ladies. Welcome back to my channel, and today I'm going to be informing you guys on how to properly color correct. So, if you have been going through a very bad spot, rough patch in your life with your skin, as I have this month, last month, February was just not good for my skin. Like, my skin was acting up all over the place. But I didn't want to keep like piling on a foundation, you know, you know, the normal, the basics. So I picked up one of the tips um, that I think is like the best tip of all time called color correcting. And I have these LA Girl Pro Conceal Concealer thingies. Um, each of them are $2.99 or $3.99 a piece. I got these online actually from sleekhair.com. I'll leave that below in the comments. But today I'm going to talk to you about color correcting and show you how I do it. So first of all, to color correct, you're going to need some colorful concealers. Which colors, might you ask? Well, let me tell you. It depends on what you are looking to conceal. This yellow cancels out purple or bluish tones like if you have veins under your eyes or bags or whatever may have you this yellow concealer will help you the GC 990 orange corrector this corrects hyperpigmentation meaning all these dark spots that I have from previous acne <laughs> my face just don't act right so all of this going on on my face um that will help um this can also cancel out like darkness from acne whether you're still on your face or not this lovely green color corrects redness um or pink or you know whatever you're trying to get out to um i will leave a chart inserted here in case you didn't catch all that i'm going to insert a chart um right about now And as you can see, that chart tells you what colors complement and cancel out each other. If you've ever taken an art class, you know that certain colors complement each other and certain colors cancel each other. The point of color correcting is to get the colors you need to cancel whatever is going on on your face. Okay, I don't know where I was at. <laughs> yes, I'm just start over. One thing I also use in conjunction with all three of these is my other LA Pro Girl, con Girl Pro, con it, this, in the color GC978 Medium Beige. Because one thing about these is that they are very, very rich, very, very pigmented. These colors are very dark and very harsh. And when I get into this next part, you will see why I need to go over it with this. One important aspect of color correcting is the color that you use to correct has to correlate with how rich and dark your skin is and how rich and dark the color on the skin that you're trying to correct. So if I have like a very, very dark spot, like say this one or right here or especially right here, I would use a darker color orange. But because I am so light, I need a very, very sheer color. Like I need light orange like peach very peach it is very rare that you'll find anybody that can use this by itself like even the most chocolate beautiful color of skins are not going to need as dark as the orange as this one because if you use one color that does not correlate with the darkness of the spot on your face and also the color and the tone of your skin that you are putting it on you will see all these colors through your foundation baby that is not what you want that is not what, that's not what we doing no. So a way to combat that is to take a concealer that is your color and mix it with one of these. Mix it and then apply it because it'll. this is a surefire way to make sure that it is the exact tone you need it to be. Mix just a little bit of this to where you can still see the color and the pigment in it with whatever your concealer is that you use. Then you know for sure that it's going to work on your face and you'll be able to hide it under it. Or you can go the less safe route and you can apply this to your face and blend it out until it's a very, very, very thin layer. Um, if you use a beauty blender, 
and if you use a tool that really helps to spread the product out more so it gives you a very thin layer those thin layers also will help hide this color under your foundation because if you can see it through your foundation you either use too dark of a color or too much of the concealer so if you want to go that route apply this bare face nothing else apply this and thin it out as much as you can thin it out but don't apply it all over your face try to keep it concentrated on that one spot that you need to color up or you can do that step number two apply this to your face without anything without mixing and then blend it out as much as you can and then apply your concealer over it that will give you a surefire way to know whether you need to wipe it off and apply a little less or apply a little darker color or a lighter color or whatever you need to do it shows you whether or not it's canceled when you put your concealer over it because that is when you truly see if the color is canceled when you have your other skin tone on top of it so Take these, try them out, see which way works best for you. See if you want to mix it or put it on alone, then put your foundation on or put this on and then put a concealer over. What I'm going to show you guys is putting this on, blending it out as much as I can, and then putting my concealer over it. So that is what I'm going to do. And I do not use this yellow one. I'm a yellow skin tone, so this yellow would not help me. My undertones are very yellow, and if you would like to cancel that out, or if your face is just overall showing redness or yellowness or whatever you feel as though your color is popping out and it shouldn't be, you can go online or in Walmart, Walgreens, whatever store sells makeup, and find a primer that cancels out the color that is on your face. For example, if you need to cover up some redness, say for instance, your face is just really irritated or you have rosacea or whatever it is and you feel like your face is just too red in certain areas, go find you a green primer. It'll be very sheer and it will cover your entire face and it won't make you look like the Hulk or anything and it will cancel out the redness on your face when you put on your foundation. Or if you feel like you are too yellow and you don't like the way your foundation looks or maybe you found a foundation that wasn't the correct shade for you and it is too yellow or too orange, you can go ahead and find you a purple primer. And I know for sure Elf has some. They have the green, the blue, and the purple primer. So go ahead and find you the purple primer and go ahead and add it onto your face. It'll cancel out the yellowness either of your skin tone or of the foundation you're putting on. Same rules apply to whether your foundation is the wrong color in any any aspect. You find what is too what is wrong with that foundation. Tell me whether it's too dark, too light, or what color is showing too much. And then go ahead and find you a color based on the chart that I showed you a couple seconds ago and correct. And if you use that primer, with that color in it that you know cancels out the color that you're looking to cancel then when you put on your foundation you can probably skip these steps because the primer will do a lot of the work for you you can also use it in conjunction with the rest of your color correcting but all you have to do is know how much to use how dark it should be and what you should be applying it to so without further ado i'm going to show you how i color correct the things i'm going to be using are all of these concealers I'll be using all of these. Also my L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte in shade 106 Sun Beige. I'm going to be using my Beauty Blender and it needs to be damp. This is so important. If you don't ever use a damp Beauty Blender, which you should, might I add, this, this is the one time it needs to be damp because you will need it to spread out this. You'll also need it to mix things. You need this to be as sheer, as thin, and as blended as you possibly can get it so that it does not show through your foundation. I will also be using my EcoTools um, buffing brush, custom buffing brush, coverage buffing brush. $8 at Walmart. You, you will find it. You'll know it's called. I keep messing up the name. But um, that is all I'll be using today. And I will let you see what I do, what the end result looks like, and how it looks under my foundation. So here you're just going to see me apply the different colors to the different areas of my face. I'm going to use this green to go ahead and cover up all the redness that is on my face from this horrible breakout that I am having. Now I'm going to correct all the darkness on my face from my previous breakouts by using this orange concealer. But I'm going to be very careful and use a very minimal amount because as you can see these colors are very very rich and pigmented. Way too rich and pigmented for the skin tone that I have. So I'm going to apply it very thinly and then I'm going to tap it out with my fingers because that gives good coverage while also spreading the product out 
And that is what I'm really looking for to spread this out a little bit so that it's not as thick. As you see, I'm going to tap out one color at a time with my fingers just so I don't mix the two colors together. It's okay if they do mix, but don't do it deliberately because then that will contradict the entire point of color correcting. Here I'm demonstrating exactly how thin I need this to be. As, as you can see, this color is getting very, very thin and pale on my face as I'm tapping in. That is exactly what I needed to do. Now I'm going to take this beauty blender and thin out the product as much as I can. I really need this to be thin so that you cannot see it through my foundation. It would also be really incredibly helpful if your beauty blender was damp. I know that you're supposed to do that all the time, but this is the time if you don't do it ever to do it. This is the time you need it to be wet so that this concealer can thin out and blend and move around as much as you need it to in order to make this coverage happen. Now I'm going to take the concealer that is my color and put it over. You don't have to use as much concealer as I'm using, but I'm being overly cautious just because I'm not the one to be wanting to take all my makeup off and start over so I'm being extremely overly cautious and generous with this concealer As you can see here, the color is starting to disappear and my face is starting to be flawless. So, this is my third time trying to record this intro because I've been having some camera problems. I'm really sorry that my camera cut off before I got to finish showing y'all what I was doing, but you did basically see all of it. Y'all got to see me tapping in my concealer that is my shade and how it matches my face and how when I tapped out the concealer, you could not see the color correcting shades under the concealer. That is how you know when you are ready to put on your foundation, when you cannot see the color through your own concealer. So. I'm going to demonstrate how I put on my foundation and again I use this infallible pro matte concealer infallible pro matte foundation why am I lying y'all and I'm just going to use just a little bit and demonstrate how I did it so that you guys can see that um, I took just a little bit well I used enough to cover my face one time um, this is using one layer of foundation because the foundation does like skirt the color correcting does allow you to lose <laughs> this why <laughs> why okay anyways the color correcting does allow you to use a whole lot less foundation so um, this is just an example um, I took just a little bit and I put it in strategic places on my face the same way I apply any other foundation and then I just tap the excess in around and I took my buffing brush and I just tap that all out. I am patting it into my face with my brush opposed to swiping circular motions because patting it allows for the product to be more thick and it lets it sit on your face and provide a lot more coverage than if you were to sweep it in circles. And ladies, if you are color correcting, I'm assuming that what you are looking for is coverage on these spots that you may not have gotten or that you may be afraid to color correct because you don't think your foundation's full enough coverage to cover up the color correcting. But patting it will solve that issue. It will definitely solve that issue. It gives you a lot more coverage. So I'm then going to take my beauty blender and tap everything out to make sure there are no spots, lines, unevenness, or anything like that.
and then I am all done and this is what the face looks like finished and fully color corrected with your foundation ladies 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 for the third time third time's the charm this that is wait that is how you get a flawless face of foundation using these crazy color concealers color correcting is so beautiful it's like one of the greatest makeup tips i've ever found in my life so using these four concealers that are each about two three bucks a piece i achieved this flawless coverage and it is amazing like i don't it's great my face don't feel as heavy or cakey because i have like two or three layers of foundation on it is lovely lovely y'all so i highly encourage if y'all have these and don't know how to use them or you have another palette with all the concealers in it and stuff all all that stuff i hope that this helped you and how to use them um i hope this really reaches out to ladies that are suffering from like acne that may show up red on their face or rosacea or hyperpigmentation that i have or the dark or bluish pur purple purple colors under your eyes when you know you ain't got enough sleep and you got the bags you know or like darkness around your mouth i really really pray that this reached out to y'all because this changed my foundation game y'all this changed the game so yes that is how i use these four concealers and my foundation to get this flawless face so thank y'all so much for watching but if you have any comments, if you have any questions about different colors, if you didn't understand something, if you want to see something, you know, hit me up in the comment section. Also, remember to like, remember to subscribe, and remember to share. Thank you guys so much for tuning in again. And I really hope I pick up this camera and it got all of this. I really hope. I'm going to be so mad, y'all. And until next time, God bless.